Hello, Lord Bernaysa. How are you doing? I'm good in your mic. Oh, good. No complaints. Listen, so I think the big question here that your fans would love to hear is, Junior's around the corner. I mean, how, how, how are you feeling emotionally and mentally? Yeah, I think it's a bit of mixed emotions. Um, you know, it's, it's a good time to finish now, as l even if the body the body is still feeling good. So I feel like I can still, yeah, everything must must come to an end. And yeah, just to just have a bit of free time, you know, after the rugby. It's been a busy a busy last couple of years. So yeah, I'm looking forward, but it's going to be a sad moment for me as well. After all these years, um, leave this wonderful game and this this wonderful union. So you've had so many experiences at Loftus Versfeld. Um What's your fondest Loftus Versfeld memory? I think just to play, you know, last weekend again on a on a full Loftus. You know, this just that um, great feeling when you run on, run onto the field and there's fifty thousand, you know, Blue Bull supporters um, going crazy for you. And then just you know all the trophies we've won, all the games we've played. You know, not not just the wins always. But just the the friends I've made through the through the years, um, not just from the Bulls, but playing against some other great friends as well. Um, so I think that's one thing. You know, rugby friend is always. I always say it's a it's a lifetime friend. So I think that's a good thing of rugby. Do you think? Do you think you'll ever be able to hang your boots? Yeah, luckily I've got the the kicking on my side, so I'll definitely go into kicking coaching. I already started. Um, this last couple of years, so yeah, I am busy with it, and I'll definitely try and stay as long as I can in the game of rugby. I think otherwise it's gonna gonna get tough sitting at home and you know not have anything to do with rugby. Now the MS10 Foundation, what does it stand for, and what is your mission? Yeah, we actually started a whole you know MS10 company um, for myself, doing all my kicking, my kicking clinics and all the kicking stuff I'm gonna do outside. You know, it's gonna be the part of the MS10 um, company. And then, yeah, with the, with the Blue Bulls doing this wonderful benefit year for me, uh, we call it the MS10 Foundation. And from, from there, we'll, we'll definitely get a foundation that we're gonna, that we're gonna boost and help them and just give, give a little bit back to the people out there. So I think my whole, my whole mission of the whole thing is just to help the people out there, make a difference in the kids' life, especially at school level. I wanna help with the kicking, help to, to develop the kicking game in schools as well. Uh, Cause I don't think there's a lot of people um, focusing on that. You know, everyone's targeting the the unions and the big unions. So, for me, it's just to just to give a hand to the to the younger generation and to just to make a better a better future for South African rugby. Look, I don't know if I can call you a legend or um, a hero, but I think you are. I believe that you are a South African hero. Um, so, with more than geez, more than, with more than two hundred and sixty seven appearances for the Vodacom Bulls. Why shift focus to more work than rather deciding, you know, I don't know, you're going to lay back and go to Hawaii and travel the world? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just, just one of those guys, you know, I'll, I won't be able to sit still at home. Um, so I will always stay in rugby. If I can help the, the union, the Blue Bulls, I will definitely get involved here as well, the help with the kicking game, the help where I can. And then, like I said, just to, you know, help the younger generation and just whatever I have, whatever I've learned through my years, just to give it back to the people out there. Now, backdating to the beginning of the year, which is 2023, um, the Vodacom Bulls will be donating one rand per ticket, one rand per ticket sold at Loftus. How will that make a difference in the foundation's journey ahead? Yeah, I think definitely will, it will definitely help. Um, like I said, we we are targeting a, a, a foundation out there. It's, um, yeah, so it's gonna be, it's going to be a big help for that, uh, you know, every one rent, the people coming out, you know, it's just a, a small part of that of, of that money coming in. But yeah, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing the Bulls are doing. Um, and just for the younger, for the younger guys playing at the Bulls as well, if you give your loyalty, if you stay loyal to your, to your union, um, in the end, they will look after you as well. So I think that's a great thing from Edgar and Willem and the guys. And um, thank you to them. And yeah, thanks for everyone that's, that's, that, that's got a part of it. And for all the companies out there, if there's anyone want to join, want to make a difference in the people's in their lives, more than welcome to to contact us or to to give a donation to the to the foundation as well. So we are there to make a, a difference in the South African rugby and the younger generation. So that's the that's the whole mission. All right, Morne, thank you so much for making time. You can get back to the training field. I'll see you on Saturday. Have yourself a good one. Thanks, Max. Make it. Yeah, it's been a pleasure.